storage hangars between Terminal 7 and the international carriers proceeding on foot to customs and immigration. on Concourse D. Better send a squad car. I have a 102 in progress. Sergeant O'Shea responding. it just in case and open some doors get the smoke out of here want this whole area cordoned off 
Please, freeze. Freeze also, police. Drop it. You drop it. Master Sergeant no O'Shea, airport police. Major Shan, Hong Kong Metropolitan Police. This is New York. You're in my jurisdiction. Drop your gun. I am police officer in pursuit of criminal fugitive. <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, I'm just an innocent bystander. You're under arrest. You arrest me, you got big trouble. International Law Enforcement Treaty, Section 4, Paragraph, paragraph six. 6. She's right. You can't arrest her. And just who asked you? Look it up in your handbook. She's out of your jurisdiction, so she passes through passport control. So make it detention for questioning. Don't worry, it's just a routine. This way, please, sir. We need some assistance here. Tell Captain Shabilia that we have a foreign national police officer giving us a hard time. And who did you say you were? Elliot Cromwell. Consular service. Diplomatic passport. And there's some smart ass here from the State Department. That's Asian Affairs. Looks like a bullet ripped your coat. Don't worry about it, I'll be all right. Check it out. Paramedics? Any ID? Yeah, his name is Prescott Chang. His passport is Hong Kong. Hello, Prescott. Sorry, Sergeant. The Major won't stay put. I see you got yourself shot. Good. Prescott Chang's piece of shit. Waste of valuable transfusion. Excuse me, Major. Is this the fugitive you're in pursuit of? No, fugitive name is Harry Pym. You're chasing Harry Pym? Well, now that you've got everything under control, I'll be on my way. Real pleasure meeting you. Okay, this Chang's passport says he's Malaysian Chinese. Hong Kong is Port City. A little bit of everything. Is that where you're from, Hong Kong? My people from Gobi Desert. Thoroughbred Mongolian. So that's what you are, huh? A Mongolian cop? Scrambler code one niner Asia. This is Elliot Cromwell. This is State Department one niner Asia. Go ahead, Cromwell. I'm at JFK Airport. The place is literally crawling with Oriental hitmen. All right, hold on, Cromwell. I'm going to patch into Interpol Global. Finch, London Interpol. Commissaire Duclos, Prefecture de Police, Paris. Inspector Reggio de la Polizia di Roma, pronto. Colonel Cho, Mainland. General Fan. Kochiang Metro. Gentlemen, this is Elliot Cromwell, United States uh, State Department. Current assignment, Special Agent, U.S. Interpol Operations. Go ahead, Cromwell. There has just been a bloodbath at JFK Customs. It looks like an internal faction of Black Lion tried to take out one of their own, a courier by the name of Harry Pym. Harry Pym? He's not dead, is he? No, sir, he got away. Do you know that he's top of the crisis list? Prima priorita. Priority one? H Harry Pym is a courier. Why is he so important all of a sudden? He's not. A slippery little nobody. But he's the only man who knows the name and identity of the boss of Black Lion. The man they call the founder. Why don't we just shut down Black Lion? Well, you don't just shut down an international crime organization like Black Lion. Well, in that case, I suggest you get someone to find Harry Pym for you. That someone is you. What are you talking about? I'm supposed to be watching for Iranian arms money. Besides, I counted half a dozen hitmen out there with automatic weapons. I'm here on my own. It's never easy, is it? <laughs> In that case, I'll need backup. OK, Major Hot Pursuit, if you're chasing a fugitive, let's see your warrant. No warrant. No passport. No shit. Hey, Sergeant, here's your smoke bomb. It's some sort of kitty's firework. Let me see that. OK, no more fool around. Already waste time like criminal escape. Looks like there's some kind of uh, emblem, corporate symbol here. It's like, like a dragon. Not dragon. Black Ryan. Like Black Lion? Believe me, I know this organization. 
I'll need all the help I can get to bring Pym in alive. Now, this is Global Interpol, right? We'll assign me some international cops. There isn't time. What do you mean? You already have a police officer here from Hong Kong chasing Pym, uh, Major Shan. And there's an American, a Sergeant O'Shea from the airport police. So you? Hong Kong crime controls under the command of Colonel Chow. You have our full cooperation. OK, I'll get the permissions. I'll get moving, Cromwell. Thank you, sir. Attention! Where's Sergeant O'Shea? O'Shea here, sir. You're holding a foreign national police officer? Routine detention. Major Shan. She had no passport and no warrant. Chief Haig wants to see the prisoner. Of course. Detention cell three. It is in the diplomatic corps. At ease, Sergeant. Major Shan, Hong Kong Metropolitan Police. I demand right of passage into United States, New York City. Please, Major. I'm the watch commander, Captain Shibilia. Good. Order Sergeant to let me out right now. Major Shan, do you mind if I ask what exactly it is you're trying to accomplish? Arrest criminal fugitive. Name, Harry Pym. Hair, mousy brown. Eyes, blue. Occupation, work in drugstore. Pharmacist. Short, ugly little Caucasian. We appreciate the description, but what are the charges? Illegal manufacturer of fireworks. You flew all the way from Hong Kong to arrest a man for making unlicensed fireworks. That's official charge. Unofficially, Harry Pym is courier for Brack Ryan Corporation. My orders are to arrest Harry Pym, bring him back to Hong Kong for investigation and criminal activity. Fine. Well, Mr. Cromwell is attached to the State Department. You'll be working with him. Work with him? What for? Mr. Cromwell is in charge. In charge of what? I have a telex from Hong Kong. In compliance with the request from the U.S. State Department, Major Shan Shan is hereby attached for duty as consular staff under the command of Elliot Cromwell, consul at large, by order of Colonel Sung, Hong Kong Metro Police. Colonel Sung? Assign me to him? That goes for you too, Sergeant. Sir? Me? I don't follow you. You can pick up Major Shan's entry permits at passport control. Release her. Give back her sidearm. They're all yours, Mr. Cromwell. Chief Haig, thank you for all your cooperation. Well, ladies, this is going to be a real pleasure. See you a minute, Captain. Congratulations, Sergeant. Is this for real? I have to go. Chief Haig likes people to obey orders. Where's Sergeant O'Shea? She goes say goodbye to Captain. Yeah, I call for him. Yes, sir. Looks like a prisoner just escaped from emergency hospital. Prescott Chang. Piece of shit, get away. Yes, sir. Promise to shut up the evidence. What about Prescott Chang? Looks like he got away. Where's Major Shan? Well, she was here a minute ago. Yeah, well, it looks like she got away, too. Who's got number nine, Kaufman? Uh, the cars are all here. Number nine should be right. Yes, sir. It's gone. Goodbye, Major Shan. Where do you think she'd go? Now, how the hell do I know? But she's got to take the expressway into Manhattan. Come on, I know some shortcuts. Hey, it's okay. People in Hong Kong, all different color. I'm looking for district call Harlem. Harlem? Harlem? 
close enough. So you give me direction which way to go. You in it. So which way is Renox Avenue? Renox, you go straight on, four blocks. Straight on, brother. All right. It must be the new uniform. No, man. That's the police band. She plays sousaphone. You see that piece in her hip? They ain't no sousaphone. That's a bad cop. Uncle Joe's nephew, named Eddie Wing. I'm looking for him. Forget it. Please. I want Eddie Wing. Hey, hey, get her out of hey. here. Look, I don't have time to argue. Please, hold helmet. Kick her out, Jackie. So where's Eddie Wing? He's not in today, but his uncle's running a game. The dude was hairy. Oh, watch out, it's Sergeant Slaughter. Hey, Fran! Bless my soul, if it ain't your hand. to bother you during business hours. Look who's up tone, Terry O'Shea. What's the beef, my man? What you put out for them stripes here, mama? Hey, we got company here. You want to buy a present for your company? You want to ride in the back? No, ma'am. Fran. Listen, you work the airport. We're looking for a female officer who's in one of our squad cars. She's wearing some kind of foreign-looking uniform. A big slant, dressed like a sambo. 6'2", oriental. She's been asking directions all over the street, how to get to Uncle Joe's gym. That'll be 50 bucks. <laughs> Put it on the vice tab. Mm-hmm. You got that? Yeah. Yeah, they went that away, Duke. See it again. <laughs> Can't draw eight wait, wait. with a pencil. I, I say 15 more. Well, I'll couple 20 to that. I got 20. All right, all right, baby. Put up five more. I got $20. Let's see what you're gonna do. Come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot eight. Whoa. You're standing on the fence. Uncle Joe? I'm looking for your nephew, Eddie Wing. You'll be looking for your head in a minute. Please, answer question. <laughs> It, you're crazy, you know that? You come in here dressed like a doorman, walking all over the jackpots. Throw your dice, man. Make your mark. Then I'm gonna throw Miss Susie Wong out the window. One out of two. Ask me straight and I'd answer. I'm asking you, mama fucker. Where is <laughs> Eddie Wing? He's at the warehouse, 714 Duck Street. What kind of warehouse? Uh, a little factory. They ship fireworks. Police! Freeze! It's okay. 
These people cooperate with police. Uncle Joe gave me address of Black Ryan Warehouse. OK, no charges this time. But break it up, Uncle Joe. The party's over. That goes for you too, Major Shan. Let's go. How'd you know to look for Uncle Joe's gym? I know Eddie Wing in Hong Kong. Put him in jail two, three times. Talk about Uncle Joe in Harlem, New York City. Well, what is Eddie Wing's part in all this? He and Jing Mao message boys for Brack Ryan. Message boys? Mm-hmm. They come for you, you get the message. <sighs> this is the Lower East Side. I mean, this is no man's land. There's all the ambiance of death row. Right, a sophisticated security system for a warehouse. Model A. Fidelity. Time lock. Getting ready for the Chinese New Year. I Scott Chang didn't get far. Brothers took care of him. He has three bullet entries, dead center, plus two from customs. It was not his day. There's some, some video cassette. Look, there. See if it'll play. Who knows? Might be X-rated. The chief executive officer, Black Lion Corporation, from the founder. Let this be a warning to all personnel. I want this internal warfare to stop. Prescott Chang dies because of your stupid and dangerous dispute. Dangerous because it calls attention to Black Lion. Any one of you who sends a message boy against a member of Black Lion will receive a message from me. There will be no more factions. I won't have it. So, that's the founder. But who is this message for? I mean, is it for his lieutenants? Or... Chinese triads wasting each other. Just one big, unhappy family.
crazy. This place is full of nitro. I crawled to Ed. I said don't shoot, and that's an order. You heard the man. Mikoshe. Everybody's dead. Eddie Wing. Jing Mao. You long way from home, Shan Shan? We're looking for Harry Pym. Harry Pym? He don't like people come looking for him. But we didn't come to arrest him. What you here for? Information. We want the name of the founder. Yi Do Wa Chung Hai. Jing Mao! Hook so. One shot. Take them both out. It's not worth the risk. The squad car's outside. Just take them in the street. It's not them. You know, I know her from Hong Kong. Angelica. She wore for Black Lion. Angelica Bethencourt. She travels with Harry. How do you know her name? Passport violations. The picture's posted all over the Pacific Basin. Do we take her? No way. She's gonna bring us right down. Yeah, but what about the message boys? Forget them. Angelic is more important. If she's here, Harry's around somewhere. Come with me. Come on. gonna let Angelica leave on her own. Afraid she might go back to former employer. An employer here, the woman never worked a day in her life. Oh, yes indeed. Before Angelica found true love and happiness with Harry Pym, she used to work for Madame Pilou full time. Number one hooker in Hong Kong. A hooker, huh? <laughs> yes, and we're talking world class here. I mean, not that I know anything about it personally. But Madame Pilou is what you might call vice president in charge of prostitution, white slavery, Rent-a-boy? How many divisions does this black lion have? Rent-a-boy? Hundreds. They've got to be the fastest growing conglomerates in the big board. Rent-a-boy? Passengers arriving from international flights received with immigration and customs. Mr. Huffman, Mr. Richard Huffman, pick up a white courtesy telephone. Carter, please pick up a white courtesy telephone. No son of Harry. Believe me, Angelica is still our best bet to find us. But Harry's a clever little rat. Maybe he leaves Jing Mao and Eddie went back for decoy. Come here to the airport early and take flight out of country. I'm telling you, she's going to meet him somewhere. Or she's going to lead us away from him. No way. Like I told you, their two hearts beat as one. Barnes, Kelly, come here. You need to borrow your belt radios. Tell Kaufman to issue your replacements. Keep an eye on that squad car. Okay, okay, okay let's go. Good. to London, the next flight out. Flight 201 to London, now boarding at gate three. That's it, meet me at the gate. Please help this gentleman. Thank you. Flight 201 to London, now boarding yeah. at gate three. Keep boarding, then. So, let's get going. 
get going. Where? We're gonna follow her. This plane is going to London. And so are we. Now? London? I've never even been out of the country. I mean, how... Today's your lucky day. This pass will get us all on board, courtesy of Interpol. I can't. You know, I don't have anything packed. I, I left my cap in the station, and I have a cat Look, that... Sergeant, you have been assigned to me. So consider this an order. You are going to London. Well, you're the CO. You got that right. Hello, operations. This is Sergeant O'Shea. In case anyone asks, I just went to London. And tell Kaufman to feed my cat. Hot sake. Shelley. Champagne. I got forward. Keep an eye on Angelica. Well, Sergeant. Here we are. Oh, London. Slicker and slicker. You sure have everything under control. Things do look rather promising, don't they? Mm-hmm. So do you have a nice hotel picked out for us in London? I'm working on it. Yeah, I'll just bet you are. I'm sure we'll find suitable accommodations. Suitable? Suitable for who? Why, for all three of us, of course. Yeah, with you in the middle. Measuring up? In your dreams. Well, if you'll excuse me, Angelica knows what Chan looks like. I better make sure she keeps that aside. Besides, I'm feeling a bit of a chill here. Angelica's out of it. Bet you $50 she went into restroom to snort white powder. Uh, nah, she eats reds. Up or down, she still doesn't know what's going on. Don't worry about it, come on. For you. I'm Chuck Peterson, the flight engineer. The captain's had a clearance on your request to go down to the cargo boat. The tag numbers you requested ought to be in pod nine. Thanks. We can't go down there and just open luggage. We don't have a search warrant. You've got to be kidding. It's against the law. Out over ocean. No longer in U.S. jurisdiction. And besides, I told him Angelica smuggles drugs. 
Does she? She pops a few red pieces every now and then. Red pieces? Yeah. Looks like cough drops made of opium. Chinese get high. Call it chasing the dragon. I don't want to hear. A yes or no? It's a lot of trouble to access the hatch to a cargo deck. The answer is yes, we'll inspect her luggage. Come on. What do you got? This is it. All these big ones here. Rather formal, don't you think? What couture? Cold a man. This thing must cost a fortune. You like pretty dress? Of course I like pretty dresses, don't you? What's this here? <clears throat> Barbell? I don't get it. She must pump iron. It's pure pig iron. No drugs anywhere. It's obvious Angelic is up to something. The question is what? Yeah, thanks a lot. British Airways Flight 293 to Miami and Tampa has been delayed. Boarding will now take place at gate 19. Come on. George Doris, I was afraid I might miss you. Excuse me? And we met in the Shanghai sector about three years ago. We worked for the same company, George Norris. Oh, yeah, sure. I'd George... like a word with you in private. I'm a little pressed for time right now, George. Instructions. Instructions, yeah. In the coffee shop. from Interpol, all right? And whatever you do, make sure you don't lose Angelica. Well, how do I contact you? I'll meet you around 5 o'clock. A place called the Mercury Courier Office in Covent Garden on King Street. Now, ask anybody. They'll tell you how to get there. Go ahead. Mercury Courier Interfering with the surveillance. Now, what the hell is so important? Interpol wanted to see you. I've been ordered to bring you in. Bring me in? I am U.S. Consul, Department of State with diplomatic immunity. What are you talking about? Screw that, Cromwell. State issued the order. But why? I think it's got something to do with women. Major Shan is the woman, Sergeant O'Shea is the woman. O'Shea and Shan are dedicated professionals, sir. You should see them in action. Sir, you can't replace them or you're on to something very important here. I have no intention of replacing them. I'm sorry, Cromwell. You're no longer assigned to Operation Fireworks. What about Harry Pym? What about the name of the founder? Special Agent Norris will now take over. Major Shan, Sergeant O'Shea will be answerable to him. Well, if that's the case, sir, perhaps it's time I handed my resignation. I wouldn't try that if I were you, Cromwell. We just might accept it. All right, Norris, you take over. We're counting on you. Kirkland, just cross me off your list. Gentlemen, I am now in the private sector. I resign. Good. Talk about shopping sprees. This is her fifth dress shop. Seventh. It's always the same thing. I mean, this woman is an evening gown freak. At least we know where she stays. Can stake out hotel. Speaking of hotels, what about Cromwell? What about him? We gotta meet him at the airline's courier office. It's five o'clock. King Street, Covent Garden. Now, which way is Covent Garden? I don't know. Maybe he knows. Let's see, so you go about a quarter of a mile to the south, listen to your turn You read off the street sign Covent Garden. Enjoy yourselves. Did you hear what I just heard? All summer life. Well, I think he said that Covent Garden is doomed that way. Okay. Here it is, Mercury Couriers. Look, man who met Cromwell at airport. Yeah, but I don't see Cromwell. Major Shan, Sergeant Doche, please come in. My 
name's George Norris. Do please sit down. Where's Cromwell? We're supposed to meet him here. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Cromwell's been transferred out. I'm his replacement. Just like that. Nobody told us. Kirkland's orders and Sir Hugh Finch. They're expecting you to call, confirming. Yeah, I'm going to call New York Interpol. Be my guest. And I have here a set of revised orders for each of you, naming me in Cromwell's place. Interpol Global Pull Strength Sweet Jump. Look, correct code file. So, where do we go from here? Well, I hope you've been keeping a tight watch on Angelica Bethancourt. We leave her to come here to meet Cromwell. All she does is shop for dresses. We've got her hotel pinned down. Good. Resume surveillance. Report every half hour. I'll be covering Heathrow. If Pim slips by, you'll make straight for the bait, so don't let Angelica out of your sight. Any questions? How do we contact you? Channel A9 on the UHF band. As I said, every half hour. Good luck. 10-4. George Norris calling Interpol. Surveillance proceeding according to plan. I have everything in good order. Norris out. Think of new boss. You've seen one agent, you've seen them all, right? Old saying, never change ox in middle of rice paddy. Angelica. Back to the shopping spree. Sergeant O'Shea to Norris. Time is 6 p.m. Target has just entered a clothing establishment. The address is 121 Argyle Street. Sign outside says Adrianas. I'm going to check it out. Over now. What do you think? More evening gowns? All I know is Rap Ryan not in dress business. Now, what is Adriana's? Excuse, please. What is Adriana's? Good question. Now, if it's high fashion you're after, then she's the latest range. The runway girl's going right after tea time. If you don't want to miss the main event, you'd best hurry. Thanks. Do you want to see a fashion show? What about uniforms? Come on, we'll go in the back door. Let's go. I want to see this it. way. Rachel, put your hair up for the hot hair dress. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Thank you. 
This, unfortunately, is one of the ones that we cannot use. Right? She's going out front. No, we can't go out front or anywhere in these uniforms. I have always wanted to wear one of these. Just my size. It's wonderful. What about me? All wrong size. Look, there's a whole bunch more changing racks over there, so go over, find something to wear, meet me in the uh, dressing room. Alison, how much longer will you be? Not one minute. You haven't got one minute. Stella. Come on, let me see. All right, go through. Ma, how much longer will you be, Alison? Not just a minute, you're on. You're yeah, great, Why you're not great. Yeah. Red's perfect. You, would, you are done. Never mind that now. Stay there. Oh, oh you're giving up. I'm very sorry. Sorry. Have you seen him? Yes, just just right there. Came up with so far. Mm -hmm. well, that's obviously much too thin. It didn't work. Now well, this here, that weighs a ton. It didn't work either. But we split the difference. I've got the stuff back out in the back room. Angelica, and you? But you've been replaced. I mean, Norris told us you're off this case. Officially, yes. I've been relieved of duty, but unofficially, I wanted to keep in contact. With who? With you. They've cut new orders. I mean, Norris is our new CO. I didn't want to just disappear and leave you with a lot of um, loose ends. I notice you're out of uniform. Yeah, uh, the uniforms were a little bit too overt around here, so I changed into something less conspicuous. Yeah. Uh, by the way, where is, uh, where would Major Shan be right now? She's... Let her go! Oh, wow. oh, Cromwell, where the hell you come from? I oh, don't worry. No problem. I'm fine. It's no problem. Just a, just a slight shoulder separation. Why don't you go on and change? I'm going to poke around and see if I can find anything. Unofficially. Off the record. How do I know? I thought he was off the case. He is. <sighs> Looks to me like he's on. OK. And where's your dress? Oh, all too big or too small. Really? Well, I just happened to find the perfect thing. One size fits all. Okay. 
Pardon me. Excuse me. Yes. Yes. The materials. Can you show me this? Ah. I need to. Tu me rends compte, Omar? Yes. Oh, very nice. Yes. Uh, this is what I came to say. Yes. I think we might have, yes. yes. I'm exposed. I want asylum in Bangkok. You have my personal guarantee of safe passage. I've managed to get Elliot Cromwell relieved of duty. I am now in command of Operation Fireworks. Good. But watch your step. New York police can be tricky. And Major Shan's a ball buster. Any word as to when Harriet Pym's arriving in London? There's no sign of him here in Manhattan, so he's probably in flight now. As soon as he contacts Angelica, let your police dogs fight it out with his bodyguards. While they are busy chewing on each other, you get in close to Harry and kill his ass dead. Uh, have you got that, Norris? Dead. If Harry lives, we've had it. I promise delivery. I'm not going to let Pym divert it. If I don't deliver, we're dead. But the founder ordered no more infighting. That's why I'm letting George do it. Finale's starting. You better get out there. Did you find anything? I think so, but I'll tell you all about it later. Come on. Better get out front. She's not dressed. This is it. Here. Where? Here, Adriana's in the audience. Receive your message. Harry Pym is back row center, armed and dangerous. And look for two hoods somewhere near him. 
I've got him in my sights. Alive. Harry, the police, Major Shan. Harry! Come on, Angelica. Angelica, come on! George, you're shooting at the wrong guy. Bollocks. Norris, calling from London. Pym was dead and buried, but Cromwell butted in and blocked my shot. Cromwell? I thought you replaced him. I did, but he's come back on his own. Take him out. I can't get past those two man-eaters. Don't give me this shit, Norris. I'm paying you to blow up Harry Pym. I want to see his corpse. Or I'm going to see yours. Norris. Oh, he's over in Adriana's office, phoning in his report. I think it's a funny feeling he's trying to get me deported. This is Norris. Emergency. I'm at Adriana's. And my car's in the parking area. There's the Silver Dame Low license number RUC306Y. I want it wired. That is correct. Plastic. Yeah, and use a timer. Uh, set it for 7.30. To the second. Well, George, did you file your little report? Say goodbye, Cromwell. Bye, Cromwell. At least you got Angelica. And Adriana's under arrest. Adriana? What the hell for? For smuggling dresses. Cromwell, go away. Officer, would you be so kind as to wheel those dress racks in here, please? If you see anything you like, George, just pick it out. <clears throat> very good, very good, very good. Hey, George, seek, and you shall find. Nine, 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 pure, straight from the London Exchange. What boy, I mean, this, this ingot weighs a ton. I don't understand. I mean, how can they smuggle lumps this size? Now, that's a good question, don't you think, George? <clears throat> if you'll allow me. Excuse me. What do you suppose we have here? What the hell is it for? This is an extrusion machine, Joel. What do you say? He said, what? This little gadget here makes gold wire. If you place an ingot, in here. Spins out here. See, Adriana has a backroom industry full of garment workers who weave this gold into bolts of material. Then her seamstresses cut the patterns and come up with her 24 karat creations. 
Talk about high fashion. That's why Angelica collects all these evening gowns. She's got proof of purchase, labels, custom declarations. She simply switches the dresses. The cheap stuff stays here. The gold ones go out. No wonder Angelica bring in barbell. Overweight luggage come in, dump out dumbbell, put in gold dresses. Same overweight luggage go out past customs. You've got that quite right. Well, what are we going to do about this, Angelica? Oh, gee, I don't know. George is your CO. The target is still Harry Pym. She's his Achilles heel. Sooner or later, he'll come within range. Cut her loose. Let her go? You're free to go. So, you can tell me? You heard her, Angie, baby. Take a hike. Continue surveillance. And let's get moving. Come on, I got a rented car across the street. Well, use mine, Silver Diamond. I'll park around the back. Come on. All right, come on, let's go. Where is it? Chinese proverbs say, save a man's life, you're responsible for him forever. Oh? Yeah. Someone tried to kill me. Let's get out of here. We'll take my car. Come on. Sorry, sir. You can't come through this. It's OK. Try. Come on. Come on, Terry. Check it first. Not after me, George. I'm retired, remember? Let me drive. I'm an expert no. at tailgating. You drive on one side of the road. Come on, come oh, on. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. Go! Well, I'm just a hired gun, but I still don't understand why Interpol thinks that Harry knows Mr. Big. Why do they think that he's lieutenant? He just looks like a glorified errand boy to me. Interpol to Norris. Come in, please. Emergency. Norris here. Heathrow reports unauthorized takeoff of private jet. Passengers aboard H. Pym, two bodyguards, and three foreign nationals believed to be military. Military? Yeah, there were some brass hats back at Adriana's. Do you have a destination? Course heading plus fuel capacity indicates JFK. New York. Find the name of the charter. Here, give me that. What was the name of the charter company? Aircraft privately owned by General Sabutu Quizon. Quizon? Quizon's part of the Philippines' fallout. Who knows that he's now a Celebes terrorist? He wants to be dictator. Do you read me? We read you loud and clear. Who is this? Uh, George Norris. Over and out. Thanks, George. Tell me, George, why are we still chasing after Angelica when we know Harry's on his way to New York? Yeah. Head for the airport. I'm going up to the flight cabin. Might need your help to place an air to ground telephone call to airport security. Be on the lookout for police on this jet. Alone at last. 
That's right. How much do you trust me? On a scale of one to ten. Oh, about minus five. The new seal gets minus ten. You got good instincts, Major. A little earlier, I had the opportunity to pick Norris's pocket. What is it? It's a scrambler device with uh, microchip circuits. Uh, you place it on a telephone. It messes up the message. The person on the other side has a matching unit. Unscrambles it. Well, he is a government agent. I mean, how do you know it isn't part of his spy kit? Slight problem with that theory. This isn't government issue. At least not our government. Chinese letters. Made in Shanghai. That's yeah, Black Lion territory, right? I've got JFK police operations. Uh, use right, the thanks. headsets. Hey, Sarge, where are you? I'm out over the ocean. I'm with Elliot Cromwell. I want you to help him out. I need a computer search on a criminal record. The name is Pim. P-I-M-M. -M. Harry or Harold? Nothing on Pim. No one, no record. Wait. It's cross-filed. It's an alias. Harry Pim. Real name, Cal. K-A-L-B. First name, Leo. Chemist, worked for U.S. government, civil service, Aberdeen Proving Grounds. Two convictions, both arson, stretch in Leavenworth, four years, San Quentin, two years. Harry Pym, not Harry Pym. Harry Pym is Leo Cal. Interpol Global has a big fat folder on Angelica. It wasn't important enough to waste a file on. They're not going to have anything on a Leo Cal. Hello. I want to place an emergency call to Interpol Global. Interpol Global. Blue zero zero. Code one nine or Asia. Emergency access. Interpol Global. This is Kirkland. How are you, sir? This is Cromwell. Cromwell. What the hell do you think you're doing? You have no right of access to security systems. This is an emergency, sir. I'm cutting you off. Kirkland, wait. You have a security breach. You have no authority. Security breach. George Norris. George Norris has A1 clearance. Never really tried to kill Harry Pym. Accusations prove nothing. Well, then try this. Check your wiretaps on Llewellyn Haggard. Norris uses a scrambler device made in Shanghai. I placed some calls from London, so they should show up on your computer tapes. All right, Cromwell, if this checks out, you're reinstated. All expenses, same staff. License to kill the whole shop. What about it? I've just been on the phone, George. I called JFK, Interpol, Kirkland. Interpol Info. Well, it was to explain about a certain high tech component. Um, made in Shanghai. The one I found in your pocket, along with your gumdrops. What do you say we lock George and the John? What do you say, when, when this is all over, that we take some time off together? I know this little pink stucco hotel at the Bahamas. Yeah, I read about places like that. You know, I've only been two places in my entire life. Martinsburg, West Virginia, and the Big Apple. And you've been everywhere twice. Who did you take to that pink stucco hotel? Why don't you just come out and say it? You don't trust me. I don't trust I you. <laughs> Well, hello, 
Sarge. Here's the keys. I uh, fed your cat. Thanks, Kaufman. What are you looking at? I'm going to change. I'm going to have to borrow your squad car. Major Shan here is going to take that one down to Dock Street. By the way, there's a felony prisoner on flight three. He's locked in the occupier. Now hook him up, book him, and cook him. You got it, Major. Allow me. My pleasure, man. Keep a record of the play-by-play -play action. People say the darndest things. Are you sure you don't want any backup? There's no time. Besides, we don't want to lose the element of surprise. Hey, also don't want to lose life. Nobody's home. No, they put an alarm. Only do that when place is empty. That's it. What? Can't you put that away? To be Chinese, warning high explosives. Repeat, what is it? What Quizon was paying for. Fireworks? Sparklers? No. Vesuvius fountains? I mean, come on. Master Sergeant right about you, Cromwell. Well, Honky, you're pretty damn smart. Let's take a look, shall we? Open that up. Uh, cherry bomb, Roman candles, sky rocket, machine gun bullets, mortar shells, hand grenades, Uzis, Max 75s, VP70s, Kalishnikovs, gun running big business, Iran Contra's big fat payoffs. We've uncovered a stockpile of weapons at Dot Street Warehouse, set for shipment to General Cuisone, Harry Pem, alias Leo Calves. Spell Calv. K A L B. Uh, try the Chinese word. Backwards? Right, yeah, yeah. B L A K. Right. Black. And Leo means lion. Harry Pem is black lion. Very good. Shh. I hear a car door. Message boys are coming. Why isn't Harry here? He agreed to meet us. Uh, the son of a bitch wants to make his way. Why couldn't we have met in some nice corporate offices? This place is a rat's nest. It's the only safe ground. Is it? If he plays ball. Where's the founder? He'll be here. OK, so maybe we stepped out of Try to push you around. You tried to kill me, bitch. You tried to block our sale. Those arms weren't used to sell. I had a good deal. For yourself. But I had a better one for Black Lion. <laughs> You're broken down dictator, Quasar. I'm telling you, Haggard, obey my orders and stop making deals that profit you, but not the corporation. Obey your orders. Fuck you, Harry. To shoot it out? Blow us all up? I thought the founder was coming. Let him make the decision. He already has. Christ, here we go again. Why can't he come out front and settle this in person? I'm telling you, Haggard, obey my orders 
and stop making deals that profit you and not the corporation. You heard me, Haggard. Obey my orders and stop making deals that profit you and not the corporation. You. That's right, Haggard. I don't come up front and settle deals personally. Because of Interpol. Because of you. I stay alive. That's my message, Haggard. Signed by me personally. Hurry, no! <laughs> Let's go. Mr. Cromwell, isn't it rather dangerous to come in here on your own? Mr. Paul didn't realize what an important man you are, huh? K-A-L-B. Uh, try that Chinese word. Backwards? Right, yeah, yeah. B-L-A-K. Right. Black. And Leo means lion. Harry I mean, Pym is black lion. Send his head to Kirkland. a dead man. We're all dead. I'm telling you, if you shoot me, he dies, you die. We all die. Stand off. Just get to the car. If you're staying, I'm staying. I already saved my life once. Now it's my turn. All right. Go ahead. Come on. I can't leave him. Come on. We have unfinished business, Shan. Go get him. I'm going to cover him from the top. I start the car. You're dead, Cromwell. You've got the best angle. Hit him. I'll do it, Eddie. You do it, I drop this right in the crate. 
I'll turn this whole place into a shitstorm. You hear me? You'll do it. Back off, son of a bitch's crap. Happy New Year! Get it all blue! Put it out! If you're gonna die there, then pick us off! Get it all blue! I don't want to die! 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 Let's get the hell out of here! Where's Master Sergeant? She go back for you over top of crates. Shit. would have the initiative to blow up an entire block of Manhattan. Well, it's a start, sir. Well, we've got a great assignment for you. It concerns design, okay. destabilization of the current. You have fun when you get home. Happy unfinished Nothing business. Cromwell, Major, you take good care of yourself, OK? Don't send any champagne. Cromwell. <laughs> Cromo, where are you? Cromo! We play in the fire. We caught in the flames. We turn on the siren to find out. Is it the man with the gun? Or is it the president who says this must be, hey, this must be true? It's coming in three. Coming in three kinds of heat. Yeah, three. Three kinds of heat. It's coming in three kinds. Hey, three kinds of heat. of the law, the kind you find out in the streets, and two kind, two kind is the heat of love, now I know the difference, hey, yes, from right and wrong, hey, give me the heat, give me the heat of love.
Turn it up! Hey, turn it up! 